Okay, what's going on boys? Neil Guides here, welcome back to another video. And today's video, we're gonna show you how to use the 442, the second variation of video uploaded. The tactics are on that video as well um, from last week. Now we're gonna use basic gameplay, things that you would have probably have learned. So no travellers, no mechanic of using nonsense here. We're gonna teach you real football. Now, with the 442, as I mentioned, one of the biggest downsides with this is, although it's defensively stable is, look, these CDMs are so far away. Now, the formation still hasn't changed yet. Let me just kick the ball out again. You don't have to kick the ball out of play, but I'm just going to do it just for the sake of it. Um, the downside with this formation is these CDMs defensively are very good. You can see the cut passing lanes, they're ready. The downside is look how far away they are from the attacking line. So you can see, look at Lorente and Valverde. You see them in the middle? So they're good defensively, but attackingly, they're too far away from the attacking, for, the fr the attacking front four, should I say. And that's how a lot of players, they struggle and they're like, you know what? I can't play the 4-4-2 because there's no camp. So what you got to do is you got to bring these players forward. If you can't pass the ball to them, you, the other option is going to the wing and then bouncing the ball back, doing a butterfly wings and then bringing it in from a wide position into the middle back again. So that's what I would normally do is I'll bring it forward. So if you do struggle a lot, that's what something that you can do as well. So we're going to go through the defensive phase. We're going to walk you through how I would use it, etc, etc. We're just going to here, just going to use our CDM waiting for the overlap, using our CDM here, waiting for that pass. Um, you know Park Ji Sung is right footed so we're going to let him take a shot. You know what, it was decent. If, if he scored that I would have said okay fine. It was a low chance of him scoring. Very low chance. He hit the post. Sometimes you just got to accept one of those shots as well. Made a mistake there. Was able to get the ball back. Lorente and Valverde still hold up very very well. Um, again here and you can see we get a pass into the middle. No driven pass needed there. You can see Ronaldo making that run overlapping. See we're just doing a one-two. We're not standing here. We're doing a one-two. When you watch my gameplay a lot of people say, oh, Neil, you know, your players are making runs when I'm moving. Oh, mine. You have to see the gameplay and be like, okay, you think, am I doing it? That's the way, when you play your game, watch your gameplay back and say, okay, you know what, Neil says do one twos. I'm doing it, but it's not working. That's why a lot of common things that I get. The question is, are you actually doing it? Because I've seen thousands of gameplay. Sometimes people don't realize that when you get frustrated in the game, you think you're doing this one-two here. You think you're doing this one-two like this, but you don't actually do it because of frustration. But then it's all about timing. We, with Neymar, he's not the faster players. I would like someone faster. But Neymar gets the job done. What we might actually do is we might bring Neymar into the middle here. He's going to do a quick overlap. Good play from my opponent. Good defending. End up getting the ball back there. You're going to use Neymar to defend that situation. Then you can see with our CDMs, we're just going to run back. We set play. And now we've got to switch to our defender. It's all about knowing when to switch again, doing that one-two. We haven't got that cam, you see, so we've got to do that one-two backwards. And if we need to make a temporary cam, what we can do is we can do a one-two, one the centre mids to push him forward a little bit. See that? So we can push Valverde forward. He creates a little opening. He also drags some defenders away. And that way, we, when he comes a bit closer, just on side, we can pass the ball to him like that. Get the ball closer, do an L1 trigger in Mbappe. Bad defending from my opponent. Should have been techn technically a tactical foul. Was grabbing me there. Van Dyke, but the game doesn't register as a foul and I'm able to recover there. So a bit of bad defending from my opponent. Going to bring the ball back here again. We're going to do an L1 trigger this time. So we're going to run down the wing. See that? Got a free kick. But you know what? Let's just play on there. Very smart for my opponent, by the way, to run back so you can play on there. A lot of players will just try to continue to force forward there so they can get... Um, so then they can just get the free kick. Well, I can get the free kick, but he let let the game go one. So he's got a higher chance of winning the ball, higher at the pitch and countering me. So you can see we're here, Lorente is a bit far away. So we can also use the L1 trigger and push Lorente a bit forward like that. Get the pass to Lorente. And that way we can get the ball around him as well. Get the ball to Lorente. And I think he should be able to score that. Maybe not. The goalkeeper did come out. Goalkeepers coming out are just too overpowered, too effective. Um, way too effective. That's one of the biggest qualms I've had about this FIFA. Finishing from day one, it's been the biggest issue inside the game and I made it very clear in the beginning. People don't realize this, but it's been there since day one. It's not changed. It's not been nerfed. None of that. I'm gonna pass the ball again. Nice press from my opponent. We've been under pressure there. We made the wrong pass and if we can see that, we deserve to. Thankfully, big Verge and that's why Virgil van Dijk is the kind of player. He's on zero chemistry, by the way, becoming in clutch as well. Gone for a cross, to be honest. I've not seen his technique. I think he's going to go for Travella here. So I'm just going to get ready for the slide cycle. So you see, I anticipated danger before it even happened. Again, and you can see he's got no defenders here. It's a counter attack. The Rube. 
that was meant to be a through ball. I don't know what that was. I know that was Lorente's left foot, but still. I mean, maybe it's my fault. I should have controlled face to play and then made the pass. That is, of course, my problem. Um, that's why I say don't do these first time passes. You know, control face to player. That way you'll guarantee that pass. See that? Take the control. If you do like a backwards pass like that, it might work sometimes. But you can see there in the clear, it didn't. You can see Ronaldo there. That was meant to be to Ronaldo. Going to run away now. Get the ball back with Correa. I'll do a quick one, two. He's gone to a four play on stay forward. Very interesting. So it looks like he really needs the win over here. We're trying to come back inside the game. That's not the play to go because you can see this is why I say, you know, with my 4 4 2, gonna defend this. Nice penalty. I don't know how Park Ji Sung actually hit the post again. I can't believe that. He's actually getting these. These are, these are basically punch shots. Like, I mean, there's. I shouldn't have slid there. I shouldn't have slid. Okay, let's see. Neymar. This guy is good enough, so he won't use head movement. But I think if I start to the right, to the left, and then in the middle, he should go there. Yeah, that's what some of the good players do is um, they won't use head movement. They'll do it halfway through the run-up. But when they see you move, they think you're going to move one way. So you're going to get that touch and then dive. So instead, I decide just to shift to the left, shift to the right, and then do it. It works most of the time. Maybe I shouldn't have shown that in the video, but you can see there, I can see loads of space for Correa there. And again, see the center mid's a bit too far away, so I can do the L1 trigger. So you can, I can push Valverde forward into that space, for example, if I want to do. But again, if I lose the ball here, i got no center mid, so you see, you've got to be careful. You see that he's got four players on stay forward. Had it not been the end of the half at half time, I could have been very much in trouble there. So those are the things you have to just stay away, stay aware from and be very much aware of. Again, um, focus more on those one twos. You know what we're going to do here is we're just going to... What you can also do is you can put some more attack in. So I'm just going to put Booter in here. here Because we've already got Valverde there. And we're just going to put Godfrey in. I really like Godfrey. He's one of my favorite centre-backs in the game. Very, very cheap as well. One of the best centre-backs in the game, to be honest. All right, so we go into the second half. Same thing really here. A GL team balance. Uh, we're going to use our CDM. So we see we're using our CDM, but we're not committing too much. And if we need to, we can bring back our strength. It's like here you got to switch to your center back. So that's the biggest skill gap in defending, I would say, is switching at the right time. Let's focus a bit more on the defend defending this end. I don't really want to... The last time I called this, the guy left. So um, let, I think this guy needs his win. Because I'm recording this on a Sunday, so it could be a chance that he's rushing. But let's focus on the defensive end now with a 4-4-2. So I would, you, I would normally bring back a left mid and right mid. Now the key comes with you know when do you when do you switch to your centre back? It does take some time and some practice, um, but the key thing is switching at the right time. So if I'm winning, for example, I would never want want to trigger a player like see that Buta guy. He's going forward. He's my centre mid. Do I really want to be triggering a player like that? No, because then I've only got one CDM. So if, for example, from the attacking phase, I might do a 1-2 to push them forward, but then I'll make sure they touch the ball again so they don't run forward anymore. You see that? Uh, going to run out of the wing. I'll use Correa to cut the... See, like here, I'm not using my CDM. I'm running back with Correa, and then I use my center mid. Then I'm going to use my center mid here to run back. Use my left back here. I know the danger's there, so I switch to my center back. Then I can switch to my CDM here. I can see the space there with Haaland, and my center back naturally steps there, you see? Don't have to worry about it too much. Here at Buta again, just running back, not too sure. Using the left back now, then using the center mid to man mark that guy in the middle. You see him using that CDM. That's why the pace of that CDM is very important. So you can recover quickly. Bouncing the ball back here, L1 trigger. That makes Mbappe run. All I've got to do now is wait for Mbappe. He's got to time it to perfection. I think it's too close to the, to the goal here. So it's going to bring the ball back. And you can see he's got all his players. And this is why I said don't put his players on stay forward. Because look. Okay, you've got all these players here. But anyone that's half competent could just dribble and weave around. Look, see, look, if I just run forward here, look, he runs out with his center back. Look where Virgil van Dijk is. It's easy for me to break through by having his players on stay forward. You see that? Because he's forced to bring out his center backs because he's not going to bring out his front four. You can only use your... F that's a really bad pass. You can only really use... Um, that was my fault when waving my hand thinking I'm Harry Potter or something. Uh, you can only really use your your front four and stay forward if you have the ability and the defensive know-how. Um, nice side tackle. 
your defensive know-how of knowing when to bring back um, your attackers. That's why you see a lot of these top tier players do it, but they bring back their defenders um, and their attackers, should I say. And that's the difference. That's why when they do it, people say, oh, they play so well, their players move in good position. It's not. It's all done naturally. They're triggering those players. They're doing it all themselves. It's just all about timing. Take a touch away here. Ronaldo hasn't got the best of dribbling. So yeah, see how I tried to move upwards there? That's when all those agility team balance. Once I beat the goalkeeper, the agility team balance wasn't, wasn't good enough. Couldn't make that pass there. And if you can't make the pass, just pass it backwards. Like that. One, two. Bounce it around. The ball to Neymar. Bit unfortunate. It should be a foul. But like here, I'm going to run back with boots. See, run back. Just ignore everything. Run back, run back. Now you've got to use your centre back, right? Someone's going to shove away from goal. I know he's right footed. If he takes that shot and he scores, okay, you know what? Bear play, that was a good goal. I saw him making that run. He's right footed. I tried to cut the passing angle out. Maybe I made a bit of a mistake there. I think initially that was where I made the mistake. Um, I shouldn't have probably let go of that centre back there. That was probably a mistake. I just kind of took a risk. I said to myself, well, I was going to move the goalkeeper. I didn't expect him to shoot that early. I thought he was going to wait one more touch. Well played for my opponent, outsmarting. I think maybe he knew that I moved the goalkeeper, so he took a shot early. Um, it was a good chance of him scoring, but it wasn't amazing. That's fine. Um, we'll just get the second goal. Very, very simple. So again, we're just going to bounce the ball back. One, two. And... Um, I get the ball here, Potty Sung, but less dribbling here. Ronaldo, Mbappe fake one way, yeah, the other way, and take a shot. Facing away from goal, I don't expect to score that there. Who put Sunny Boy on? I love Neymar. Neymar would never really take off, but let's just do it. No Travellers for me here, as you'd probably imagine. Just need to get the ball to Ronaldo's feet, that's fine. Less at dribbling. Oh, yeah, it's not. I think I need to get rid of Ronaldo, I think. Mbappe and Ronaldo up front, they're both good, but I need someone more agile. Mbappe hasn't got the best of balance, really. I normally play Neymar up front. Oh, well played for my opponent. Nice deadly cross. He might win this game, you never know. Doing a 1-2 again. Um, he's still playing on a, such an attacking state here. I've got away with that one there. 1-2, bounce back. See, look at that. Oh, look, now he's changing it. Bringing that centre mid there. Driven pass when I need to. L1 trigger. And you see that? Ah, oh, that should have... Mm, Ferran. Good interception, I won't lie. Um, see that there? That pass should have gone through, in my opinion. But that pass would never have gone through if I, if I never did an L1 trigger. Do you see the importance of that L1 trigger? Is to push that player forward there. But a risk on. Uh, if, that, if, he had, if he had scored, I would have had to have tryharded to come back inside the game. I actually need this win. Um, use a running jockey. Get the ball out. Again, I trust myself. Just kick the ball out if you don't trust yourself. Um, very rarely do I actually concede from those. Um, although the smart thing would be to not do that at 80 minutes. Because if I concede now, I'm pretty much in danger here. And same likewise for my opponent. If anyone concedes here, they're pretty much in trouble. I'm just going to go for the, the more aggressive play here. I see Neymar. I'm not going to commit forward here. Okay, now it's all about timing. Ah, oh, son. Going to apply, keep applying pressure. Let him take a... That's an outrageous pass, by the way. I can't believe he actually took the risk. A good chance he can lose that. And we're going to wait for the goalkeeper. Should be coming out now. It's not. Uh-oh, messed that up there. Pass, please. Oh, my. I cannot believe what I've... <laughs> I don't know what I win. I should have just shot there. I don't know why I tried playing it. Imagine I concede now. No, no, I got this. If this pass goes through, I've got this. Yeah. Oh, no. Extra time it is. More content for you, I suppose. Now, do you need to make a sub? Not really. I think we are fine. I mean, Correa. I mean, do you know what? We might just bring De La you on. Put him on for Bantz. On the wing. Okay, now we go into the second half. Down please not too much of like a, a real sweat. Like if you start passing the ball around, sometimes when you record somebody's videos, you get these real sweats and that. 
I can't even do anything because half the time he's got the ball and I'm trying to explain something, I can't really do it. Um, you've probably seen some of those as well, some of those games. Good play for my opponent. Using that midfield four. And I'm just going to run back here. That was a mistake on my end, actually. He deserved to score that. That was a mistake on my end. I don't know what really happened there. I kind of ran forward a little bit. I was meant to just run back directly there. But this guy is more dangerous than I initially thought. So let's just get a goal here now and stop messing around. Fortunate. We don't want to take a risk that at that 90 minutes where that Ronaldo just missed some simple pass. And then he somehow messed it up. Should have probably just shot there, Ronaldo, to be honest. Been holding the line. So although I'm running out of my centre backs, I'm not running out aimlessly. I'm running out when there's a good chance of pushing the ball forward. But I'm also combining that with goalkeeper movement. So you see, if I run out, I close the angle out on one side, but on the other side, I have my goalkeeper ready. He might win the ball there. That's Ronaldo. You can see on the radar, we've got someone up top. I don't know who that is. That is Buta. Got a bit of fortunate there. Now, I think we're going to spam the L1 button. So we're saying, look, I'm, look, I'm waiting for Ronaldo to make that run. See that? Pass away. That's fine. We lost the ball there. A bit unlucky. We're going to apply a bit of pressure, but we're not going to apply too much because you might turn me like that. You see that? Oh, well played. We tried turning him. We're going to run back, cover that lane. Now, we can see that playing in the middle. Now, see we're going to use our, we're going to use our center back here because our left back is taken. Even that's Modric, whoever that is. He's still taking, driven past the striker, but he's loads of clear space. That's one of the key benefits with the 4 4 2 if he does go to like a compression type system. Oh my god, Ronaldo, what are you letting me down today? I should have probably done a regular through ball there. But the idea was that in case he does reach his hand out, let me just score this normally. Stop messing around. Finish the game. Game set a match. Um, but yeah, um, and I said, you know, with with the four four two, you can see the key thing is that one two. You know, if you haven't got that that space in that middle, you're gonna have to dribble into the gap. That's why it seems a bit easy for me. It's because people think, you know, oh, it looks like you know, you know, you can see that my opponent is pressing me. I don't even have time that much time on the ball. He's doing a pretty good job, but um, it's all about dribbling. You have to do those dribbles. Like obviously now he's just frustrated. That is why you know he was inside the game. And then it was game set a match. So to fail you, we didn't, didn't really aim the header there, so I suppose that's kind of my fault. Again, run it back here, and that's the pace of that centre backs are very important. Oh, that's a red card. I'm just gonna. It's what I'll do if I got a red card here. I don't think I got any subs left, have I? Who do I take off now? I think I dump Valverde there. And then I'll take Ronaldo up and I put Lehmann on. That will be the best choice. In case you're wondering why I did that, um, Valverde's got better pace. Although he hasn't got the better defensive awareness, but with this player, I don't have to worry too much about um, too much about the defensive awareness for him personally speaking. Give my goalkeeper a bit down there because he does something funky. And what I do normally here is I start breaking apart the wall. Unlucky. That was nice. Uh oh, didn't mean to do that. Tactical foul there. So you see, I lost the ball there. Straight away, I'm in for a tactical foul. I just bring anyone out because I know if that ball goes forward, there, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna move. Yeah, there it is. I'm watching Messi now. Wait for that pass. Wait for that Travella. Whatever he's thinking of doing, I was waiting for it. Make that pass. Bam. L1 trigger. Timing. I think I should have to get it this time. And then Bappe. I don't know if you can get it. I'll just go for the near post. Is he going to move the goalkeeper? Oh, no. That was terrible, son. That was absolutely terrible. Bit of running jockey here. We'll play for my opponent there. It's not the pass that I wanted. Tackle. 
That was me taking a mech, to be honest. Um, we see Sun there, Sunny Boy. Good pass, nearly. They have to do it offside. That's more of like a habit thing, you know. I'm going to run back here. Ben Yang on towards goal. That, that shot there, if he scored, sometimes you just got to take it and be like, uh, you know what? You've done your best. You cover the angle. Sometimes those goals are going to go in. You can't do anything about it. Again, that offside trap, you don't have to do it. That's just out of habit. Sometimes I don't. I do it without thinking about it too much. People always ask me, do you need to do it? To be honest, until you get to a high level elite, you don't do offside trap. It's going to cost you more. Um, it's very. It's more used to bring your defensive line going forward, not as a traditional offside. So in my opinion, unless you're like elite um, elite player and then you're legit going up, then you're not just staying in elite and going to like a low SR, then I would say learn um, offside trap. But yeah, that is a, just a quick video. Well, ended up becoming a 20 minute documentary um, of the 442. Um, give you a bit of a gameplay for this just to see how I use it. What kind of gameplays I do, how I push the ball going forward. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you want to get better, people, you can go to my people's school series. Patreon.com forward slash no guys. have to clip it. It should be like there or a bit further on that side of the screen. But anyway, thanks for watching. Take it easy. And of course, I'll catch you next time. Peace out.